Hi, my name is Mark Briley and I'm a captain at Etihad Airways. I'm on the Boeing 777 and 787 fleet and I've been here for nine and a half years, so it really has become my second home. I've been flying since I was uh, 25 years old. Uh, I've accumulated about 12,000 hours, uh, all on the Boeing. I've never flown any Airbus uh, aircraft. So I started off on the small ones, 737, 757, 767. And uh, it's a real pleasure to fly the 777 here at Etihad. I was encouraged, my grandfather, he was in the Royal Air Force, so he used to take me around when I was young to museums and air shows. But I never really considered it as a career. Uh, in fact, I went to university, I did architecture. Funnily enough, when I came home from my first year at uh, university, I needed a job and needed to earn some money. And my parents would move uh, house a bit close to the local airport at home. So I ended up working at the airport. So in the airport, I've, uh, I did some baggage loading, I did some check-in, I did some dispatching, uh, and I kind of rose up through the ranks, became supervisor at the uh, local airport. And then I kind of got, uh, got the bug, got the passion, and uh, just from there on, there was nothing else but flying for me. There's been some real unique experiences. Um, one of them was uh, getting my captain's uh, award. Uh, obviously, it's uh, quite a, a difficult position uh, to get in, and it requires a lot of uh, training, uh, a lot of, uh, uh, I'd say, dedication. Etihad, they've got some really good facilities and really good trainers. They really help you lift up and meet those uh, challenges and those standards. A couple of standout flights, uh, we used to fly to Los Angeles. The shortest route, funnily enough, for that was over the North Pole. So I actually flew over the North Pole a couple of times uh, en route to Los Angeles, which is uh, quite different. No two days are the same. Uh, every day is different. Different start time, different finish time. But I usually start the morning or with a coffee. That's the first thing. And then uh, checking WhatsApps, and uh, any changes to the planned day ahead. We have a uh, reporting centre where all the crew come before a flight and that's when we check in. Uh, first thing we do is drop our luggage off uh, for our flight ahead, the flight plans and paperwork that we need. And then we go to the crew briefing rooms, individual briefing rooms uh, for each flight where we meet the rest of our crew and uh, discuss the, uh, the day ahead and any challenges that we may face. Typically it's uh, one and a half hours, uh, but if it's, we're going a bit further afield, uh, say Australia or the US, really what we call ultra long flights, mm -hmm. then we, we come about an hour and 45 minutes before the flight. Etihad, uh, we have a unique facility here in Abu Dhabi, we have the US pre-clearance, so uh, we can enter technically the US uh, before we even take off from the UAE. It's a great facility, it means when we arrive in the US it's uh, really swift uh, sort of exit from the airport. So it's nice to get that out of the way and not have to be delayed at the other end. Well, it's great to see uh, Etihad really pushing the sustainability uh, side of uh, aviation. Uh, I think a lot of people are put off um, by the environmental impact that they create themselves. So Etihad can offset a lot of that, uh, you know, sort of worries and, and trouble, you know, fears that people have about flying. And it's the future. We all, we're all here, we're all in this world together. So whatever we can do, uh, it's great to see a, a real corporate effort to, uh, to push that side of things. Aviation is a fantastic career. Um, I recommend it to anyone. It's, uh, it's a long journey. It takes a while to get from uh, you know, day one to becoming sitting in a, a commercial airliner. But uh, it's very rewarding. It has its challenges. Uh, I recommend it for, to anyone. Uh, don't give up and uh, don't think it's, uh, it's not possible for you. It's possible for everyone. If I can do it. Anyone can do it. Yeah, it is quite a responsibility, but it's also a privilege as well uh, to do something that I enjoy doing and to be able to sort of facilitate for people the holiday or maybe a business trip or maybe to go and see a loved one, um, you know, to be able to do that and provide that, you know, uh, that service for them as well. It's, it's quite satisfying at the end of the day. It doesn't matter how long a trip is, whether it's a few days or a week, it's, uh, it's always great to come home to Abu Dhabi uh, to see the uh, the iconic sites flying in here uh, to Abu Dhabi over the uh, city. It's, uh, it's a good feeling to know that you're home and uh, you'll be welcomed uh, back by uh, family and friends and I uh, look forward to that every time.